Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is my first declutter video. I've never done one before, so welcome, and let's just hop right into it. I'm going to start off actually with some stuff that I know I'm not going to get rid of. So the first thing here is the Bite Beauty Agave Treat Trio. This came out a few years ago. I only took one out and used it so far, and the other two are still in here. So I'm not getting rid of it because I think they're fine. They're still sealed. The next one I have here is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a liquid lipstick. And the shade is Sugar Plum. And I grabbed this over at... Oops, is it focusing? I grabbed this over at TJ Maxx. So I don't want to get rid of it yet because I haven't even used it yet. And that's the color. That's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I have swatched it. <laughs> Okay, so the next one that I want to keep is this NYX Powder Puff Lippy. Um, I like these. This is the uh, PPL01 Cool Intentions. And is it focusing? Sorry, guys. I don't know if it's going to focus or not. But um, I have several of these, and I really like them. So I'm going to keep this one. Plus, it's brand new. I haven't used it yet. This is from ColourPop. And it is one of their lippies. This one is in Whip and Sheer. I don't even know if they make it anymore, but I have used this, not this specific one, but I've used this before a million times, and I love the color. And I had purchased a backup, so that's what this one looks like. And this stays. This is a little gift set. It's a lip liner and lipstick from MAC. And they were selling this over at Ulta. So I think I bought this a couple years ago, but I have not even opened it. And so I'm going to keep it. Ditto, I went to the actual MAC counter and I bought this chromographic pencil. This one is in the color Process Magenta. And I haven't even opened it yet. Let's see. Show you what it looks like. This is the pencil, and and that is what it looks like. Hope you can see that okay. It's very bright pink, and I liked it, so I bought it, and it's new, so I'm keeping it. All right, this one is from Kat Von D before she had her rebrand, I believe, and it's in the shade Vampira. And it's a really vampy, dark shade. Um, let's see. This is the color and what it looks like. It's a brown red. It's really beautiful. And it is a liquid lip. Like I said, still in the box. Haven't even used it, so I plan to at some point. Um, Vice lipstick. I think I got this from TJ Maxx. Yeah, I did. And this is from a while ago. This is um, Urban Decay. And this is what the shade looks like. I love a good nude. This one's kind of a brownie pinky nude. And the shade is called 1993. And then next I have the Juvia's Place, Vanessa, um, Vanessa and Juvia's Place collaboration. This one is called the Naomi Lip Gloss, and my cousin Simone bought this for me. I haven't even worn it yet, but I plan to. And this is what it looks like. Isn't it beautiful? She has good taste, you guys. If you're watching, love you. Thank you. All right, so let's look at a couple of pencils. Um, I don't know if I'm going to declutter any of these, but I will show you. Let's see. Let's pull some out. I wonder if I can just pull all of them out. <laughs> Sorry if that was really loud. <laughs> and then the ones that I want to keep, I'll just pop back into the box. I can already see this is like going to be messy. So let's begin with this one. This is from MAC and it is the shade Burgundy. And this is what it looks like. You can tell from the pencil that I've used it like a thousand times. And that's what the shade looks like on my hand. It's really beautiful. I'm not getting rid of this. 
This is also from MAC and it is chestnut. You guys have seen this a hundred thousand times on YouTube, but that's what it looks like on me. And again, I'm keeping it. This one is also from MAC. It's called Miss Diva and looks like it has dried out. You can see that the pencil is already receded into the wood. So I'm going to go ahead and toss that. This one is called Bittersweet and it's also from MAC. Again, the pencil has receded into the wood. So I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'll probably just go back and buy those again. This is from NYX. It's called Cabaret. I've had this pencil a million times. I used it a million times. This color is so pretty. I love it. It looks really beautiful on my skin. This one's still good, so I'm keeping it. Um, this one is also from NYX, but it's the retractable liner. Um, this one is called Plum. Not sure if I'm keeping any of my retractable liners. I'm going to sniff them all first, but this is the color. And it's really beautiful. It's a nice jewel tone. Mm, this one still smells good, so I'm going to keep it. All right. This is also from NYX, and it is the long pencil lip <laughs> in chestnut. And this is what the color looks like. And this is what it's like on me. It's a really nice brown. And I'm keeping it. This one's from Wet n Wild. I don't even think I used it, but maybe once or twice, and I did not like it. So um, I just didn't much care for the color, and I didn't much care for the formula. So I'm getting rid of this. This one is from NYX, and it is called Nude Suede Shoes. And this is what the color looks like. You can see I've used this quite a few times. And this is what it looks like on me. It's a really nice uh, sort of mauve pink, and I'm keeping that one. Here's another NYX retractable liner. This one's in dark red. I really love NYX liners. I think they're definitely comparable to high-end. So I smelled it. It still smells good. I'm keeping it. This is also NYX. It's the Coco lip liner. I think this was a limited edition deal, but I can't remember. Um, either way, though, this is the color on me, and the pencil is still in great shape, so I'm going to keep it. This one is also from NYX, and it is called the Mahogany, number th 13. Yeah, 13. And this is what the pencil looks like. You can see I've used it quite a bit. And this is what the shade looks like on me. And I'm keeping it. I have several here that are not even open. I'm so like, what is my problem, you guys? None of these are open. They still have the wrapper on them. Just quickly going through them. I think all of these are NYX. So this first one here is the um, matte lip liner in the shade Moonwalk. This one is from NYX and it's called Auburn. Also from NYX, this one is Plum. And then this one is open. It's from NYX. This one is brown. And that's what the shade looks like on me. It's a nice brown color. Keeping that. These two are not open. So this one is called Subversive. It's also from NYX. This one is called soft spoken and is also from NYX. This one is a, I don't even know what, I don't remember buying this, so that's probably not a good sign, but this is Urban Decay and it's ozone and it's a lip pencil and it's probably old as you know what. I'm almost afraid to open it. Yeah, I don't even know, like, this is really old, you guys. Can you see this? It's like a, like a white color. Anyways, that's a toss. This one is from NYX. It's called Edge Pink. And this is what it looks like on me. It is definitely a nice bright pink color. 
I like it. I'm keeping it. Uh, this is ColourPop. This has got to be really, really old because I don't remember buying any lip pencils from them even remotely recently. There's no, um, there's no name on this one. So I don't know what it is, but you can see that it's already receded into the wood. So I'm going to toss that. This one is NYX and it's called Bloom. And this is what it looks like on me. It's another bright pink. Keeping it. This one is from MAC. It's Cork, which you had to have seen a thousand times on YouTube already. But this is what it looks like on me. This one's more, it's a cooler toned brown. But it's a really nice pencil and I'm keeping it. This one is from NYX. It's called Current, and it's a really beautiful, rich, like, reddish-brown color. I've worn this a thousand times. I've had this pencil several times, and I love it. I think it's really beautiful. Um, this is also from NYX. It is from pff, Current, of course, right? So... It's no surprise I'm going to find duplicates in here, you guys. This is from NYX. It's called Nectar. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of a um, pink, almost a metallic pink. And yeah, it's a really unusual color. I think that's why I like it so much. This is uh, from NYX. It's called Natural. I've had this pencil several times as well. Let's go down here. And that's what it looks like on me. It's a, it's a pink, but it has um, kind of a cool tone and a little bit of brown as an undertone, so it works well with my skin. And then this one is also from NYX, and you've already seen this, I believe. It's mahogany. So, there we go. All right. So I'm keeping all of these, and I'm tossing the other ones. And let's see. What else do we have here? Let's grab these. I have the feeling I'm going to end up tossing a lot of these, which is so sad, but I had stopped doing makeup for quite a while um, due to the, uh, you know, the situation that we're all in. So I'm sure that some of these are still good, but many of them probably aren't. So I'm going to just kind of go through them and we'll figure it out together, right? Let's keep that to the side. And let's see. All right, we'll start with these. So I think these are all Milani. Pretty sure they are. Um, I love Milani lippies, and I love their lip glosses. They're really nice. This, I believe, should be okay, because I don't even know if I've worn this. It's this really beautiful purple color. Um, let's see, what is it called? Oh yeah, theirs are on the bottom. There we go. So the name of this shade is Berry Tempting. And this is what it looks like on me. And I smelled it, and it smells fine. So I'm putting this, and I'm keeping it. It's a nice sheer purple color. Let's just fly through these. Um, this one is called... Hold on, where's my glasses, you guys? Materialistic. And it's this really beautiful copper color. I know I've worn this one, so let's smell it before I even swatch it on my hand. It still smells okay. And that's what it looks like. It's like this, almost this garnet color. I'm keeping it. It smells like it's still okay. This one is called Ravish Raspberry. And I know I've worn this one as well. Let's sniff it. Yep, smells okay. And that's what it looks like. It's kind of a mauve. So I'm keeping that one. This one is Rose Blush. Yep, smells okay. Boy, batting a thousand here, right? 
Um, this one is smells fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to keep this one just because of the shade. I'll keep it. Let's see if I can work with it. This one I'm pretty sure I've worn before. It's called Mai Tai. If I can get the camera to focus on it. Let's sniff it first. Yep, smells good. This is a really bright coral color. And I'm keeping this one. Wow, I got really lucky, you guys. All right, this one is called... What is this? Pretty Problematic. And this is another one of those metallic shades. This one is definitely more... Um, like a deeper garnet color and you can see I've worn this. I smelled it, it smells okay and that's what it looks like on my hand. Hold on, let me close this. Let's get that to focus a little bit better. That's what it looks like. It's really beautiful. It's like a nice rich heavy red and I like it and I'm keeping it. This one is called My Soulmate Sorry, I can't get this to focus, you guys. <laughs> but this is another one of those coppery ones. And this is more of a ruby colored red. This one... Mm, this one smells okay, but it smells very metallic. And it's probably because of the pigments that they use in it because it's definitely a very metallic color but it's a super rich red and I really think it's beautiful especially against my tone so I'm keeping that all right this one is called brown berry I think I've had this one more than once if I recall yep it smells okay and this is what it looks like There it is in the end. Just a rich brown color with a nice uh, kind of gentle red undertone. And then this one is the ultimate. This one is a uh, very, uh, what's a good word? Like, uh, <laughs> how come I'm lost for words here, you guys? It's definitely a jewel toned color. It's a very jewel toned purple. And it has that metallic sort of smell to it, but it smells fine. And that's what it looks like. Keeping this. This is so pretty. And then this one is Making Me Matte. This is a brown, uh, sort of sparkly gold reflex that are inside. Smell it. So it smells good. If you smelled Milani, you know that their uh, lippy smell kind of fruity. And it's got that nice fruity smell to it. Look at that. That's beautiful. That color is everything. I can't wait till we're done with this situation we're in so I can get back to wearing my lip colors. This one's called Mauve Fetish. Yep, this one smells good, which is amazing because I've worn this color a thousand times. I don't know what they use in their products for their antimicrobials, but they are on point because they kept anything from growing. It smells just fine. I've worn this color 10 million times. I love it. It's so pretty. And this last one is called Luminous, which I've also worn 10 million times. So let's see how this one smells. Yep, smells fine. Wow. Pat in a thousand. Here we go. This one is a really good lip topper. You can see how transparent it is, but when you pop it on top of another color, it's beautiful. It's got lots of gold in it. So, yay, I win. <laughs> All right, let's get to this side. This side probably is going to be slaughtered. This is brand new. It's not even open yet, so I'm popping it back in the box right away, but I can tell you up front, these all are probably going to go. They are so old. Um, this one still has the wrapping on it. I haven't even opened it yet, so I'm keeping this one. These two, I'm not even opening. I know they're really, really old. They're both from ColourPop. 
I don't even know if I still have the names of the colors in the bottom. This one is called Mess Around. That's what it looks like. It's so gross and old. This one is called Lost. And again, just like gross and old. Those can go yuck. Um, let's see. These are all really old as well, so I'm going to toss them, but I'm just going to show you what they look like. Um, this first one is Kiddo. And that's what Kiddo looks like. I don't know. Is this, is this okay? I'm smelling it. There's no discoloration. There's nothing weird or funky growing on it. It looks like it's kept its shape. I, maybe I'll keep this one. Maybe maybe I was a bit hasty. This is what kiddo looks like. I'm keeping kiddo. There we go. I'll keep that one. Let's see what else. I might not be so lucky with these others. This one is called Juice Bar. Again, it doesn't look like anything's growing on it. Looks like it's kept its color and its shape. Let's smell it. Yeah, it smells okay. Well, maybe I'm lucky. Maybe I did take good care of my stuff and it lasted. This one is called Lady. It, I'm going to toss this one. I've worn this one a thousand times. I don't know. I feel like I have this color a hundred times over in my collection, you guys. But it's so pretty. And there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Let me just look. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I love this shade. Okay. It smells fine. I'm keeping it. I'm such a sucker. How am I supposed to be calling the herd when I'm keep like keeping everything? This is called Flawless. Um This one looks okay too. Wow. It smells okay. I don't think I've worn this color very much though. That's probably why. It's really beautiful though. Look at that. I don't know. I guess I'll keep it. Maybe it'll get tossed next time. All right. This one's called Whip. I know I've worn Whip a million times and I'm not keeping this one. I actually have, I believe I have a backup of this maybe. Pretty sure I do. But it doesn't have that vanilla smell to it anymore. It doesn't smell bad. There's nothing growing on it but it no longer has that kind of vanilla smell that comes from ColourPop. So it's probably going to turn a corner soon. So I'm going to toss this one. This one is Fern, which is quite similar. Again, I'm not seeing any kind of weird growth or anything on here. And this one still smells like vanilla. So this one should be okay. That's what it looks like right there on the end. Very similar to Whip. All right, this is Peacocky, which is a color I don't think I liked anyways and probably didn't wear very often. This just isn't me. It's got a lot of orange in it. There's nothing wrong with it. It still smells fine, but I just, this isn't really a color that I gravitate towards. It's just very orangey. It's a really pretty color. I'm sure if I wear it, it'll be fine. Nobody will say anything like, oh, look at that lip. But yeah, I don't know. That's a maybe. I'll leave it there for now. This one is called Wet. I don't even know if they make this one anymore. But I think this is one of the first ones that I bought from them for their lippy collection. Yeah, this one is turned, so I'm not even going to swatch it on my hand. It has to go. All right, what else do we have over here? are we doing? <laughs> like, are we doing okay? I feel like I'm not getting rid of very much here and I still have more to go. Maybe I'll have better luck here. All right. So there's a lot of nicks in here and some other stuff. So let's see. This, what is this? This is CoverGirl Melting Pout. This one is called Kiss Kiss, and that's what it looks like. 
Mm, I don't know if I really liked these before. I'm tossing this. So I just don't remember it very well. This is Urban Decay. This is 1993. Mm, it smells like paint thinner. It has to go. This is NYX Power Powder Puff Lippy. This one is called Moody. Yep, smells like paint thinner. It's got to go. I knew eventually I would get to the ones that were just no more good. I don't. I think I bought all of these thinking I would like them. Smells like paint thinner. Boy, this is quick and easy, isn't it? I'm not even going to try that one. Um, this is still in the wrapper, so I'm keeping it. This is still in the wrapper, so I'm keeping it. I'm going to probably toss all of these because if the others are any indicator, they, they, these are probably no good. These cover girl ones. So those will go. Uh, this is still in the wrapper, keeping it. Ditto. This is really old. I'm not even going to swatch it. I already know it's old. This one, ditto. This is Clinique. Um, what's it called? I think it's called like black honey or something like that. I know it's really old. What is this called? Yeah, black honey. This is the one everybody bought at some point, but I'm tossing that. All right, for this one, the label's still on. It's still sealed, so I never opened it, so I'm keeping it. And then moving over to this side, um, this is a sample that I got from work not too, too long ago. But the reason I don't wear it, I think it's pretty obvious. It's so bright. But I've tried to figure out a way to make it work with the lip liner. So I think that's why I've kept it. It still smells fine. So I'm going to try and see if I can keep working with it. I love the container that it comes in. It's so pretty. Isn't that nice? And the top of it has a little mirror. Isn't that fun? All right. And then for here, we have the NYX Intense Butter Glosses. I'm probably going to end up tossing all of these and just rebuying them, repurchasing them. This one is Oatmeal Raisin, only because these are so awesome, but I know that they don't last for very long. This one smells okay, but I've purchased and repurchased these like a thousand times, you guys. This is like some of the best gloss. I don't care if you're comparing it to high-end or whatever, it just, it's just the best. This one is called Angel Food Cake. I've had several of these. Yeah, this smells like paint thinner. It's got to go. This one is Raspberry Tart. Ditto. Smells like paint thinner. This one's still in the wrapper. Brand new. And it is Praline. Probably my most worn color is Praline or Angel Food Cake. This one is still in the wrapper. Brand new. This one is, I'm tossing this one. I know this is old, but this is Copenhagen. Such a pretty color, you guys. So beautiful. I'll repurchase this one for sure. Can you see that? It's like this really deep berry red. So pretty. This is super old. I'm not even going to swatch it, but it is called Glitter Dreams. I don't even know if they sell this anymore. But can you see the glitter in it? So pretty. So pretty. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Yeah, it smells like paint thinner. Time to go. This is still in the wrapper, brand new. This is raspberry pa what is this? Raspberry Pavola. And in the wrapper brand new. And it is Raspberry Tart. In the wrapper brand new. Vancouver. In the wrapper brand new. Berlin. And then this one, the reason this looks crazy is because there was like, I was trying to take the, the wrapper off or something and it wasn't coming off. And then I tried to use like, I don't know, nail polish remover or something. Anyways, it got really crazy really fast. And that's why it looks like that. But this is still relatively new. This is from Revlon and it's called Glassy Ruby. And this is the color. Yep, smells fine. 
It should. It's still pretty new. And this is what it looks like on me. I love this color. It's so pretty. This is a classic red. This is like when I think of the ladies from the 1980s, when I think of like the Cosby show or something and the mom, if she was wearing lipstick, this would be the shade she'd wear. All right. So, so far, so good. Let's see. Oh, there's more to go, you guys. Hold on. Okay, so here we go. There is more, like I told you, there would be. Um, I grabbed my trays out from my Muji drawers, and so I'm just going to start with... Why don't I do it like this? I'm actually going to start with these. So... With the exception of this one, these are all Revlon. And let's see. So this one is Blushing Nude. And that's what it looks like. I smell it. It still smells fine. You know, Revlon doesn't really have like a scent to their lipsticks. This is what it looks like on me. I love this color. It's so pretty not getting rid of that. This one is called Rose Velvet. And that's what it looks like. You're going to see a lot of browns and nudes, guys. Yep, smells fine. That's what this one looks like. A little bit deeper than the other one. It's got a little more pink in it. Can I get this thing to focus or what? <laughs> focus! <laughs> All right, um, let's swiftly move it through this because I think my battery is dying on my phone. This is still in the wrapper. I'm keeping it. This is still in the wrapper. I'm keeping it. This one's still in the wrapper. I'm keeping it. This is also still in the wrapper. I'm keeping it. Ditto. Sorry for the dust. Um, this is still in the wrapper. I'm keeping it. This one is also still in the wrapper. I'm keeping it. And that's it for those, right? Okay. So this one is called Berry Smoothie. And that's what it looks like. Smelled it. Smells fine. Looks fine. This one is a sheer, so it's more like a lip gloss. And let's see, let's scooch those over so I don't lose my place. This one is called Wild Orchid. And that's what that looks like. This is probably my favorite Revlon color, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. But that's what it looks like. It's got this sort of um, iridescent... Sorry guys, I cut out there for a second. Um, so this is the Wild Orchid, and it's got this sort of purpley iridescent color to it. I really love it. It's beautiful. I think it's my favorite color from Revlon. This one is called Mink. If I can get it to focus. And that's what this one looks like. It's definitely just a brown nude color. Smells okay. And that's what it looks like. Again, this one is kind of that um, glossy texture, so it's more like a gloss than a lipstick. This one is called Raisin Rage. That's what that looks like. Love that brown red color. That kind of old school. This is so vampy. I think it's really beautiful. That's what it looks like on me. And this should be fine because it's new. I just bought this not long ago. I don't know why I'm buying lipstick, you guys. I can't wear it anywhere. I don't know what it's like where you live, but where I live, we um, have to wear a mask everywhere. So I can't really wear my lipsticks. Smelling this one. It smells fine. This one is called... Sorry, I didn't say the name. Plum Velour. And again, this is that kind of like lip glossy texture. So it's really easy to wear, especially if you're not used to wearing lipstick. I recommend that line. This one is Blushing Mauve. 
and that's what that looks like. This goes really well with um, cork or chestnut, just to kind of darken it up a bit. And that's what it looks like on me. Okay, and I'm keeping these. <laughs> I'm keeping these. Okay, so what else do we have here? I like this. Um, I'm not going to open these, but I'll just show you because they're sitting here. This is kind of the rest of the MAC lipsticks. So I have Antique Velvet, Diva, Media, Paramount, Sin, Styled in Sepia, Verve, Touch, Spice It Up, Violetta, Viva Glam 3, Viva Glam 2, and Rocker. So these are my MAC lipsticks. They're not going anywhere. They're staying. All right, let's get to this tray because there has to be something in here that's got to go. Um, let's start with these. These are super old. They're so old that this feels sticky and I don't want to touch it, but I'll show you what it is. This one is called Falbala. And I'm sure the lipstick is like okay, but yuck. The container is like sticky. I wore this to death. You can see it's like pretty much worn down. So, and it smells like crayons. So that's got to go. And then this one is Red Lizard. And I don't even think I wore this very much, but it's a really pretty color. Again, I can smell it from here. It smells like crayons. And the container is sticky to you. I gotta wipe my hands off, you guys. That's gross. <laughs> oh, let's see. Let's get some makeup remover and see if I can get that off my fingers. Disgusting. Okay, so enough about my complaining. We'll just move on. Um, these. I really don't remember when I purchased these, and that's kind of a sign of, you know, maybe they need to go. But it looks like they're from the same line. They're both from L'Oreal, the Infallible line. This is the 8-hour Pro Gloss, and this is the Pro Matte Gloss. And let's see. This one. Is there a name? Oh, here we go. This one is number 240, Glistening Berry. This one is number 310, Forbidden Kiss. So let's see. This is Forbidden Kiss. Smell it first. Oh, it smells fine. Maybe I just had prime brain. You know when you shop and you don't even remember shopping because you were doing it when you were sleeping? You know, like when you're shopping on Amazon, prime, prime brain. I'd love to take credit for that, but my fiance, he coined that phrase. So prime brain when you're shopping and don't even remember it. And then this is the glistening berry. Smell it. Oof. This one smells like paint thinner. This got to go. Yuck. Um, this is still in the wrapper, keeping it. This is really old. I never really wore it like before, and I'm definitely not wearing it now, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like. It's from NYX, and it's a very red-orange, so I don't know why I picked it up. It says pure red, but it's got plenty of orange in it. Not for me. This one is called Perfect Red. And again, I think I probably wore this to death, but it's really old, so I'm going to get rid of it. This one is Maison. And again, I think I wore this to death. It's super duper old, and I'm getting rid of it. All right, what do we have here? Um, Hunk. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick, and... I wore this one down pretty good, but it smells like crayons, so it has to go. It's a really pretty purple color, though. I might repurchase that one. Um, this one is Licorice NYX Butter Stick. I can tell this one's old. It's all discolored. Can you see that? Oof. I would not swatch that on my hand. That has to go. 
Um, let's see. This is Lala from NYX. Again, this looks really just kind of crusty. So I'm going to let this go. This one is Shiva. This is really beautiful too, but I'm pretty sure these are really old. So I'm going to let this go. Not to mention, I feel like I have other colors that are just like it. Um, okay, so these, I believe, are all Maybelline, I think. This one is Espresso Exposed. I don't think I've even touched this. I haven't. I haven't even worn this yet. I haven't swatched it or anything, but that's what it looks like. It's a really deep chocolatey brown. This one is Smoking Red. Oof, what happened here? You can't even turn it up. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's like a um, smoky red. This one has to go. The container's been damaged. This is really pretty, though. I might actually repurchase that. Um, this one is Copper Rose. Looks like I only wore this a couple times, so I'm going to toss it. This one is from a different line. This is the Queen Collection from CoverGirl. And this one is Au Naturel. I know this is really old, so I'm going to get rid of it, but I just wanted to see what it looked like. It's a pearl pink, and I don't really wear pearls, so it's got to go. Okay, so this is back to Maybelline. We have pink, wink. This one is all kind of tore up. Can you see that? Definitely not wearing that. That's got to go. This one is on the mauve. I barely wore this, and I can see why. It's a little too gray for me, so this has to go. This one is also on the mob. <laughs> oh ah, same color. Has to go. All right. This one is Mesmerizing Magenta. And let's see what it looks like. Yeah, it's pretty old. Has to go. I knew that was going to happen. Oh, I wore this 100,000 times. I hope they still make it because I will repurchase it. This one is called Maple Kiss. This must be the newer one of the ones that I wore out. So I'll have to buy another new one that I can actually use. And then this one is called Nude Nuance. And it doesn't even look like I've even touched this. I haven't swatched it or anything. But it does have those little kind of raised bumps on the outside. You know what happens when your lipstick gets old, so I'm going to toss this. Okay, and let's see. I hope we beat the battery here. We're getting close. I'm not swatching any of these. I know, daggone well they are old, but I will tell you what they are. Um, this one is Tulips. This is from ColourPop. This one is, I think these are all from ColourPop, you guys. This one is Frickin' Frack. This one is Tool. Limbo. Lax, L-A-X, I think like the airport. Uh, Avenue. And Prim. Ditto. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get rid of all of these, but let's check because I talked a lot of trash a minute ago about the other ones, right? This one is called Leather. Yeah. I think these are really, really old. So I'm getting rid of it. Yeah. Sorry, Leather. Um, this is Poison. It's 
smells like a crayon, so you know it's old. This one is grunge. This one is Bichette. Wow, it's super old. I can't even get it out of the container. This one is Ellery. I believe she's a YouTuber. This one is Dazed. This one still smells like vanilla. It hasn't lost its integrity yet. So let's see. I feel like I have a thousand colors that look exactly like this. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. I think I'm going to toss this. Um, this is I Heart This. I can smell it from here. It smells like a crayon. Um, this is LBB. Tossing it. This one is Creature. It's a really deep, deep brown red. Tossing it. And this one is Pitch. It's a brown, which I'm also going to toss. And then this is, I don't know what this is. I think it was some kind of sample from work. Um, from VS Pro, it's called Prismatic Pink. I'm probably going to toss this. Full disclosure, where I work, I get a lot of samples. So sometimes I'm able to try them and give my feedback, and sometimes I just don't have time let's see yeah this smells okay there's nothing wrong with it but I don't know it's really really peachy I just don't know if this is going to be very complimentary of my skin tone so yeah I'm going to toss this holy moly guys we have two more trays to go and I don't think I'm going to beat the battery on this one but I'm going to try so Let's see. These are still in the wrappers, so I'm keeping them. Anything that's still wrapped up, let's just set that to the side. Shall we? All, right. All those are still in the wrapper, so we'll ignore those. This is old. <laughs> I love this for the longest. I think this is like Wet n Wild, I think. And it's called Bear It All. And, I mean, it's just super duper old. This is also ah, really, really old. I'm tossing this. This is Cuella from NARS. You can see it's already receded back into the wood. It's got to go. Um, NYX Better Lipstick. Probably wore this a couple times. Maybe a few more than a couple. Mm, starting to smell like a crayon, so it's going to go. This is really old. I'm not even going to bother with it. This is also, I believe, Wet n Wild. I wore this one to death. It's such a pretty color. But it definitely has to go. Um, these are old. I'm not swatching them. This is from Clinique, I believe. Yeah. And it's called Broadest Berry. This one is from NYX. It's called Vamp. Oh, excuse me. It's called Enamored. I don't... It doesn't smell like anything, but it also doesn't look like I really ever did anything. I'll keep this one. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't think I ever used it. Um, this one I don't think I really use either. It's also from NYX. It's a suede line. This one's called Cold Brew. But already the lipstick has that kind of frosted color like 
and it smells, it's starting to smell like a crayon, so it's got to go. This one has to go. I don't even remember what this is, but it's super old. There's like a little martini there in the front, and then this is the color. And I wore this to death, but it's just really old, so it has to go. Ditto, this is my um, Kat Von D, what was this called? Wolf's Mouth, I think. This is old. <laughs> really pretty color, though, but it's just super duper old. So it has to go. Um, what else is here? This looks like a little tiny sample. I can't even read it. It says Rouge something. Um, it's from Makeup Forever. There it is. Not really my style of color, so has to go. Um, this one is Divine One from Maybelline. I think I've worn this before. Yeah, looks like I've worn it several times, but it is really old, so I'm going to toss it. Um, this is NYX High Voltage Lipstick. Um, is that the color there? Sur Volte, Rouge à I'm not sure. Here's the um, Dirty Talk. It's called Dirty Talk. Right there. I don't know. Did I ever wear this? I can't tell. It means I need to toss it. I don't remember this at all. These are super old. Sorry, they have to go. This one is Laura Geller. Love Me Do Lip Crayon and Plum Freeze. This one, actually these two are both from the same uh, CoverGirl Queen collection line. This one is, let's see... What is the color? Don't know, but that's what it looks like on the back. And then this one too. Can't really tell. But this is what the colors look like. I know that I've worn these to death. They do have to go because they are super old. So this one looks like another frosted pink. It just isn't really my style, so I'm not sure why I picked that up. All right, that takes care of this drawer, right? getting there. Oh my gosh, am I going to beat the camera from dying? I hope so. These are all Milani. I hope they're good because I love Milani so much, but I'm going to start here with this MAC. This is taupe. It's a color I've purchased more than once and worn a thousand times. You guys have definitely seen this before. Still, I can't keep it because it smells like crayons. Boo. I'll have to buy another one. Um, these are from Mented Cosmetics. This first one is number five. Um, although the shades are really nice, I just didn't get along well with the formula. This one is called Peach. Again, the colors are really beautiful. I just There's something about the formula that just didn't work for me, which is unfortunate because I want to support them because it's a black-owned brand and I'm about that life. Okay, let's see if we can quickly get through these. I know I love these colors. I'm just going to sniff them and see if they're still okay. If they are okay, I'm keeping them. If they're not okay, I'm tossing them and I will go and buy replacements. Let's start with this one. This is Cabernet, or Cabaret. Cabaret Blend. Nope, smells like crayons. Has to go. Mented, or excuse me, uh, Milani Cosmetics normally smell really fruity, so you'll know right away if it's no good. This one still smells fruity. This is Violet. And that's what it looks like. So I'll keep this one. This one is Bahama Beige. Still smells fruity. That's what it looks like. It's hardly coming out on camera because it's so light. It's like a light peachy color on my hand. Come on, beat the camera. Um, this is called Pretty Natural. It smells like crayons, so it has to... Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. I'm tripping. This one's called Pretty Natural. <laughs> 
keeping that. This is Tuscan Toast. Smells like crayons, has to go. This one is Hot Pink Rage. Wow. <laughs> smells fine, smells fruity. That's what it looks like. Keeping it. This one is Uptown Mauve. Smells like crayons, has to go. This one is Chilled Brandy. Smells like crayons, has to go. This one is Matte Glam. Smells fruity. This is the shade. Here's what it looks like on me. This reminds me of one of the MAC shades. I can't remember the name of it. Um, this one is Rose Femme. Smells like crayons, has to go. I kind of figured it would though because I used to wear this a lot. Getting there. This one is Matte Confident. Yeah, this is not smelling like crayons, but it doesn't smell fruity anymore, so it has to go. This one is Doro, like gold. It smells like crayons, has to go. This one is Plum Rose. Still smells fruity. This is what it looks like. This one is Matte Naked. It smells fruity. I don't know if you can see it on camera. It's hardly showing up, I'm sure. This one is Dulce Carmelo. Still smells fruity. Just as light as the other one, but a bit glossier. This is double espresso. Come on, focus. Come on. No, it's not going to focus. Okay. I'm not keeping this one. I don't care what it smells like. I just didn't wear it enough. Down to the last three, you guys. This one is Orangina. Is this still in the, oh my gosh, still in the wrapper. That's pretty good. This one is Teddy Bear. Even if it won't focus for me, that's what it says. It smells like a super crayon has to go. And the last one. This one is Red After Dark. Smells like a crayon as well, so it has to go. Oh my gosh, you guys. That's it. That's the whole collection. Let's see how many we've tossed. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I had to really adjust the camera, you guys, to try to get these all into the frame. So let's see how many we have here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, sixty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seventy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighty. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, 86. I have managed to get rid of 86 old and or unwanted lip products. So thank you so much for watching. This is my first declutter. I hope that you had as much fun watching as I had making this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.